I think it's important that I put a couple of thoughts on the record on the broader picture here, uh, because as you, th this is something I think that touches every commissioner up here. It's a little emotional for all of us. As the chairwoman said, we try not to be emotional and be more rational, but passion is not always a bad thing. But it still amazes me that we allow vehicles and off-road vehicles to be driving around in Esha Dunes. Uh, I, I just, it blows my mind. And, and, the, and, and somebody said it well earlier, it's like we have to weigh between the value of people's right to recreate in a cool way with abhorrent public health impacts. I mean, that to me, I'm sorry, in my world, forgive me if you think I'm crazy, but that in itself is ludicrous, that that's even a discussion. Um, somebody had testimony earlier, and I respect everyone's position, that this is just, you know, riding up on the dunes next to Esha is just how they choose to enjoy the beach. And I just have to say respectfully, no. Uh, not if your use of the beach destroys environmentally sensitive habitat area, creates significant public health hazards, oh, by the way, that just accidentally happen to affect communities of color, communities of lower economic status, and present significant environmental justice issues. No, you do not have the right to do that. I like to off-road too, but there's a lot of, you know, it's a big state. And I don't know that it means that you gotta do it next to the Pacific Ocean on a beach next to environmentally sensitive habitat area. And any suggestion otherwise to me is perfectly insane.